Dr. John Parker. Uh, I've been in practice uh, here in the Edmonds area since 1990. I'm a board certified uh, otolaryngologist. Uh, I did all my training, both my medical school and my residency at the University of Illinois in Chicago. Um, I really loved the Chicago area, but um, got married and my wife and I decided that we'd uh, like to move out west to enjoy the great outdoors. So came to the Seattle area uh, in 1990 and um, been living here, practicing ever since. Uh, we have a house here in Edmonds and have raised four children. Uh, I practice um, uh, with a group of uh, three other otolaryngologists and um, in general we do all aspects of uh, ear, nose and throat care for a wide variety of patients from uh, small children to, to the older folks. We try to make the um, uh, patient experience as comfortable and efficient as possible. Uh, we realize that uh, coming to the doctor is never something that um, uh, people are enthusiastic about, so we want to try to make, um, make it as, um, you know, as uh, simple and, um, and efficient as possible. Uh, we have uh, very friendly uh, receptionist staff that um, uh, make the check-in process uh, quick and easy. Uh, we uh, offer online checking, so a lot of the um, um, pre-check-in um, details can be taken care of before actual arrival. Um, we strive to keep ourselves on time so that patients are not uh, kept waiting. Um, we have um, uh, dedicated office staff that uh, help with getting um, work done once the patient is here. And we offer um, a wide variety of services here in the office so that we can um, frequently get everything done in one visit so that people are not having to take time off work for, for multiple uh, return visits. We have um, in-office ultrasound, CT scan, allergy testing, and um, full audiology services available. So we are able to utilize those services for our patients um, at their visit. Over the years, um, I focused uh, primarily on um, nasal and sinus surgery and um, um, obstructive sleep apnea surgery. Uh, over the past three years, um, I have introduced uh, into my practice um, use of hypoglossal nerve stimulation therapy for treatment of obstructive sleep apnea. Uh, I was the first surgeon in the Pacific Northwest to offer this form of therapy to my patients. and. Um, I've been um, very proud of the uh, results that we're getting uh, in um, uh, utilizing this therapy for, um, for treatment of obstructive sleep apnea patients. So uh, currently um, that's a big focus of my practice. I'd start with um, uh, the basics and so you need to have somebody who's uh, technically skilled, has um, uh, basically has good hands and, um, and can operate well and efficiently. Um, so you need to add on top of that um, someone who's experienced, someone who's practiced, um, someone who's dot, done a lot of surgery um, and so has um, quite a bit of experience and um, uh, techniques that are involved. Uh, you want to have somebody who is um, constantly learning, so investigating uh, new options, new techniques, uh, new equipment, um, any new thinking in, in treating uh, surgical problems. Uh, and you want to have somebody who is um, empathetic, so can put themselves in the patient's shoes and do what's best for, for that individual patient. Um, the surgeon needs to be able to make um, good judgment on um, when sur surgery is indicated and um, and how each individual patient is going to progress uh, with uh, surgical treatment.